Hey guys, Ivan here, and this video we are starting with something pretty freaking incredible if you ask me. I know we are one week out of Arnold Classic, but I was so impressed by this physique update of season. Physique update of our Mr. Olympia runner-up Derek Lunsford. And it's not even an off-season update, really. As you can see in the caption right here, Derek says, not a bad start to a productive improvement season off season so his off season or his improvement season hasn't even started yet this is actually him in his maintenance phase so after the mr olympia which is usually normal like after the show these bodybuilders take some time off off of the gear usually to work on their health for a month or two or three usually more like two or three months sometimes even four because mr olympia is later in the year he's not competing he's not doing the arnold he has time to uh, refresh his body and to start his off season when he's healthier when he's fresh when he's receptors are fresh and this is his starting point actually however in this mid time between the improvement or the off season and the contest prep he actually managed to make some solid progress guys i'm telling you this is a video this is not a photo so i'm gonna go over the entire video we're gonna see all of the poses and the biggest improvement is right where it had to happen and it is in his legs so let's get to this video let's take a look at this i don't know if he has a leg pump or i mean if he doesn't have a leg pump he probably trained them the day before and they are inflamed still because they are looking enormous and his upper body we all know his upper body is pretty much done like his back is incredible his chest is also pretty big uh, his arms sure his bicep peaks could be bigger but like the main thing that he needed to work on uh, was definitely if you ask me his legs his quads especially and his off-season is about to start, guys. He hasn't even started improvement season. And look at his legs right here. I mean, is it just me? Or did his legs pretty much double in size? I mean, look at the fullness, the roundness, how big they are. I mean, guys, based on this, on this update, especially if you consider that he is actually fresh in this point and there is a long time until the Mr. Olympia, I'm pretty confident. I can call it right now. He is the next Mr. Olympia. He is winning the Mr. Olympia this year. Also, look at his conditioning at this point. Like, he still has striated glutes. And he grew quite a bit. I'm curious about his current weight. But he definitely does look a lot bigger than his previous offseason. I mean, damn, look at the glutes. Look at the separation in his glutes. Like, he's really freaking lean. And then look at the back. I mean, his back is, like, incredible. I mean, it, it was always incredible. It was really amazing on a Mr. Olympia stage. And as they say, back is what makes you or breaks you. So he has a very dominant back. And everything else really flows really, really well. And he has a beautiful shape, small waist. The only thing that I didn't like too much about his physique was the fullness in the legs. But look at it now look at his legs they are much much rounder much fuller much bigger and on top of it all his off season hasn't even started yet again take a look at the legs here in the front double how much better they are looking now if he started prepping like at this point for a new show he would probably lose whatever he gained you know he needs to hold on to that tissue for a little bit longer before it really you know it really sticks I mean, there is no way to explain this, it's more like bro science, but if you guys have experience, if you are doing bodybuilding, if you're competing, or you know people who compete, I'm sure you have noticed this, so when you want to make some serious changes, you need to maintain those changes for a little bit longer, so uh, as I said again, his offseason is just starting, so he's gonna grow even more. But if he just maintained this kind of fullness in his legs, and I'm sure his legs are gonna progress even more, and if he improves his arms, I don't, I don't see him... I don't see his arms improved at this point. I don't think they are much better. Maybe they are, maybe because of the body fat, you can't see it. Maybe he actually has a leg pump here and his upper body looks a bit, a bit down in size because all the blood is in the legs. I don't know, but I definitely see a huge difference in the legs. I don't think I ever saw his legs this full, this round in the off season. And again, it's only starting, so he has a long time before the Mr. Olympia. He has a lot of tools left in the shed to improve on this on this package overall. 
So, yeah, I'm pretty sure he's gonna not just beat Hardy, but beat everybody next year. I don't know if Hardy is gonna repeat what he brought this year to the stage, actually last year to the stage. I don't know if Nick Walker is gonna improve a lot. There are a lot of guys who can win the Mr. Olympia next year, but I'm pretty sure based on, on the rate that Derek is improving at, the fact that he skipped the Arnold to make the improvements, to work on his health, to refresh his body, his receptors and stuff... I'm pretty confident this guy has the advantage right now. He is my favorite going to the Mr. Olympia 2023. Again, I, I'm calling it right now. This is your next Mr. Olympia winner. And he might stay up there for a long time. I can see this guy dominating for the next who knows how many years. I mean, this guy is so complete. And once he makes the needed changes in this offseason, he's pretty much going to be unbeatable. I mean, we'll see what's going to happen, but that's my prediction right now. Alright, so a week out of Arnold Classic, once again, yes, we are one week out of Arnold Classic and I'm talking about the off-season improvements of Derek Lansford, but honestly, I was more impressed by that update than any other Arnold Classic update. Granted, we haven't really seen anything new from guys like Nick Walker, Samson Dauda, Andrew Jack, Big Remy. I mean, if I saw that, I would probably be more impressed, but unfortunately, we haven't really got any updates from these guys. However, we got an update of one of the... Uh, favorites to win the classic physique division but based on what i'm seeing right here in these updates i have him you know not in first in second best case scenario i don't see ursko let since he beating ramon dino not this year not at the Arnold classic so this youtube channel yes and uh there everything is in german but one of my followers uh, sent me these uh, screenshots and he told me this is a current update but also you can see in the title it says urs arnold classic update and as you can see i mean he looks uh, pretty much the same like he looked last year at the mr olympia there are a couple of photos let's take a look at the front double again like i don't see big improvements where they needed to happen like in his arms i mean his entire upper body needs to improve like his legs are good he has quads, glutes, uh, calves, but his upper body needs work, he needs improvements, like arms, shoulders, chest, back, everything in his upper body needs to improve, but based on what I'm seeing right here, it pretty much looks the same, like is he gonna be any better, maybe a little bit, maybe his maturity is gonna be a little bit better, like he's gonna be maybe harder, fuller, maybe he can peak better, but I don't know, like it's gonna be pretty much similar package. Yeah, sure, he's bringing conditioning, he's always pretty much conditioned, uh, but again, do I see muscularity improvements? No, not really. Because of his conditioning, of the hardness that he knows how to bring to the stage, I mean, I hope he can repeat that, maybe his body is tired at this point, I mean, this guy hasn't stopped prepping for a while now, for a couple of years, for like two years, he has been competing non-stop. So maybe at, at, at some point, probably, his body is gonna feel tired, then it's gonna show on stage. Maybe this is gonna be it, maybe not. But as you can see right here, like, he's conditioned, he has crazy legs, and he has pretty, pretty good-looking shape, like small waist, uh, good flow, solid flow. I'm not a huge fan, I'm not the biggest fan, but, like, I can see what he has, why he's placing so well. So, in all likeliness, he's gonna be second. Unless the worst thing happens again, his body doesn't wanna peak again, who knows how many times in a row. Maybe he's gonna, maybe he is mentally tired, exhausted, and he's gonna show, like, that's the worst case scenario. But, like, the best case scenario that I'm seeing right here, uh, second place. I don't see him beating Ramon. I think Ramon looks much better at this point. Here is an interesting comparison that I also posted on, on this channel, on this on this video. Actually, the left photo is before the Mr. Olympia and the right photo is before the Arnold Classic. Now, if you take a look at the photo on the left, like this is not the Urs uh, that we saw on Mr. Olympia stage. So, he was definitely much better than this. The angle here is horrible and I'm sure he's depleted and the lighting is not very good. But at least both of these photos were taken at the same spot under the same lighting. So... If there are changes, you can see them. And yeah, he does look better on the floor on the right. For some reason, he looks a little bit harder, maybe a little bit rounder, fuller. It could be just like the difference in him hitting the pose. But I don't know. I mean, I, I don't believe he could have improved like his back this much. I think it's like the way he's hitting the pose. It looks to me that he is a little bit more tilted backwards on the floor on the right. And I think he's doing a little bit better posing with his legs. And if this is the change that he didn't really implement on the Mr. Olympia stage and he's going to implement on the Arnold Classic stage, then sure, it can make a difference, but 
I'm pretty sure he posed better than he's posing right here on the floor on the left, so... Again, I think he didn't really change at all. I don't think you can change much in such a short time span. Especially if you have been dieting as long as Urs did. So, once again, he needs a longer offseason to make some serious improvements. As for now, he looks good. I mean, he doesn't look bad. Like, he looks great. I mean, second place in the Arnold Classic is a huge success. But if he wants to, like, challenge Ramon or potentially Chris Bumstead, he needs at least a year-long offseason. At least. Minimum if he wants to make some serious, significant muscularity improvements. And he needs to do that if he wants to be the top guy. Alright, the next update is from William Bonac. He's doing the abs and thighs pose. And the thing with William Bonac is, by the way, yeah, this photo is recent. It's actually from a week ago. And he always, for some reason, posts at least a week old photos. I don't know why. He never really posts something like from today. Doesn't really matter. The thing with William Bonac is... Uh, we always, we kind of know that he's gonna look dominant in terms of muscularity, he's gonna be one of the bigger guys, like, he has mass everywhere, you know, his arms, his back, his chest, his legs, like, he's, he's big, you know, he really filled out his frame quite a bit, and we saw some updates, for example, his back a week ago looked amazing, conditioning as well, look at the hamstrings, glutes, lower back, like he was already in great shape and he looked really big, really blown out, like he looked bubbly, he looked great, like muscularity wise he was huge, we were also able to see his most muscular, so from the front he looked amazing, he looked really big, like look at the arms, the chest, the legs, he was, he was big, you know, he has muscle, that's no problem, the problem is how well he's gonna peak, how good his conditioning is gonna be in combination of muscularity and everything, fullness, dryness, stuff like that, like that's the thing, and probably the most important thing for William Bonac at this point is his waistline. And that's why I found this update very interesting, because he's showing us his abs and thighs, which is by far his worst pose, because he is known as... Uh, a blocky bodybuilder, he's not known for crazy aesthetics, like, he's a short guy with wider waist, with a ton of muscle on his small frame, but, you know, not exactly the most aesthetic, the most, uh, the guy with the smallest waist, however, in this update, his waist looks pretty good, I don't think I ever saw his waist looking smaller, now, he says in the caption he's working on making this pose, uh, like, one of his strongest poses, I don't think that's ever gonna happen, I'm pretty sure this is always gonna be his worst pose, but if he believes it and he's working on it, uh, by working on it I'm thinking probably doing vacuums, uh, practicing abdominal control, maybe doing more ab work, I don't know, but working on that, whatever that meant, if he believes he can improve on that, and he's trying and he's practicing posing also, this pose especially, he can make some changes, and I think his absent eyes looks better here than it ever looked before. I think his waist looks the smallest it ever looked, and if he peaks well, if he is conditioned, as you can see, he already is, but if he brings the dryness, if he peaks well, if he is full and round, and he is also conditioned, dry, and he actually makes an improvement in his waistline, and we all know that he fixed his gyno, I mean, this guy can surprise us all, I mean, he won Arnold Classic twice already, so why wouldn't he win it for the third time? I mean, he's probably gonna beat Big Remy, and he already beat Big Remy the Arnold Classic. Yeah, I know there are younger guys who are, who kind of surpassed him at this point, like Nick Walker, like Samson Dauda, potentially uh, Andrew Jack, maybe even Sean Clarida, we'll see, but maybe no, maybe, maybe this is gonna be the best Bonac we ever saw so far, which is quite possible, and if that happens, are these guys gonna be able to beat him, that's the question, so don't count this guy out, maybe he's gonna actually end up, you know, winning that show, or at least placing much better than most people are expecting him to, so guys, you're gonna see what's gonna happen in about a week from now, I'll try to make a prediction video tomorrow, so guys, stay tuned, and for more bodybuilding content like this, subscribe to my channel, guys, thank you so much for watching, all the best, guys, and bye-bye.